You know, I always knew I wanted to come out to Lubbock and be a part of this scene. But in order to really be a Texas musician, you have to understand where you came from. Houston, you know, this is where it all started. The city that definitely left an imprint on me. San Antonio stands out because it's just a huge melting pot of music. This is important for me to go out there and you can always discover stuff in your own city. We're gonna cut, ready? We're rolling, go. Well, if you're looking for love, go out and see the world. I taught third grade for 10 years, and I have just jumped off, and now I'm a musician. What do you think is so special about Lubbock, Texas? Artistic people could survive in West Texas. This whole flat terrain with not much natural beauty. I mean, it's beautiful, but in a different way. But it took a creative spirit to live in this flat terrain and build your own art. I love that. An artist can survive here. My older cousins, they would give me a stack of CDs, Paul Wall, Chameleon Air, Switch Out, all of that. That's kind of how I got into it. The world famous Sugar Hill Studios. Okay. This is the oldest continually operational Old. studio in the United States. It's the second oldest in the world after Abbey Road. A lot of legends got their start here. Is that Lil Wayne's line? <laughs> Leftovers from the visit from Lil Wayne, indeed. <laughs> I used to be in a band called Girl in a Coma. We had a lot of record sales, and the lead singer is my sister. She got a little burnt out and went solo and moved to Los Angeles. It kind of left me like, now what do I do? My bass player for that band stuck with me, and we started another group. Sings in English and Spanish, but yet I can't speak Spanish. <laughs> Houston is definitely there. UGK, oh my God, right. grew up on that. Right. Learned how to make real lyrics that are jamming. But we telling you what's really going on in this community. Some of the best messages I've ever gotten are through a song. Because music is the soundtrack to life. I'm gonna roll the track and if you just give me some vocals, I'll get it locked in. We gonna take this one to the top. Hey, hey. You know, when you have that passion for music, you just find every avenue that you can to do something with it. But I gotta keep it real, real talk, homie, say it's back. This feels like a homecoming. It's just awesome to get that energy from the people. We are ready to roll. I've always been a fan of Pinata Protest. They are the Ramones of San Antonio. You're singing in both English and Spanish, and I think it's really important that the kids hear this. <laughs> Both our bands, people can relate to that bilingualism. We are as much part of this country as anybody else. We're kind of on a mission without even knowing we're on a mission. Yeah. I feel it's important for us to get out there. Hearing Alvaro just kind of reaffirmed that we are on the right path and we just need to keep going. He's doing it right and he's inspiring me now. You know, it's he got me right there. Getting to talk to people here that have been a part of West Texas music since the 40s and 50s has helped me discover what is that inside me. You know, this is where I was born and this is a city that, you know, throughout my upbringing, no matter where I was, I would always tell people, oh, I'm from Houston. I think people are starting to realize that it's a beautiful thing to know where you're from, to know your roots, to know your culture, to know your language. It's part of your blood and you should know about it. And it's translating through music and in the community, you can see it. That should give all of us artists validity and the confidence to just keep making music because who knows what it's going to change.